All right, we'll get it worked out. All right, just taking a little bit of video to uh, maybe get a before and after. This is the stock lights, I'm pretty sure, that come on the tractor. And uh, not bad, I mean, but they're halogens. So I'm gonna throw these LEDs on here and see what they look like. And really, I've got one light that's out on this side over here. So that's the main reason. I was just gonna buy one LED and put there. Uh, I just decided to go ahead and replace all of them while I'm at it, so. So here's kind of before and after. What's lit up. Pretty good work lights, uh, but I'm hoping the LEDs will be even better. I got these two <clears throat> front ones wired in. Uh, you can see I was using the uh, heat shrink uh, bullet style quick connects because that was already that's what was already on the tractor. So I went ahead and I went back with those and the ones I had fit. So I do like those because they provide a uh, pretty good uh, connection as far as you know keeping the weather and water out. And uh, to take it a step further. Uh, the uh, clear stuff I was putting on there, kind of the greasy stuff, was dielectric grease. I like to put that on there. Uh, that'll just help keep those from oxidizing, uh, keep that connection good. So between the dielectric grease and the uh, heat shrink connectors, uh, those these heat shrink connectors, they have kind of a, when you heat them up and get them hot enough, and they do shrink, it's kind of a goop, uh, an ad ad adhesive in there, and it'll kind of squish out a little bit. You'll see that. And uh, those help. That helps uh, keep these connections uh, weatherproof and watertight. So that's the front. Uh, I'll turn these on right quick just to make sure they work and they're good. And then I'm gonna move to the back and uh, get those old lights off. Get this. Uh, get the new ones mounted and get them wired in. Got a few new tools I'm trying out today. I say tools, this is just that dielectric grease. This is actually like a pressurized can. It's got a little squeeze trigger. I thought that'd be handy for kind of getting up in tight spots and like my uh, trailer connections on my truck. But any dielectric grease uh, is good stuff. Another thing is these uh, crimpers here. The ratcheting crimpers. I've normally used the traditional style. Say like these right here. 
uh, thought I'd try these out. I like them pretty good. Uh, thought I'd try it out on these heat shrink connectors. But uh, I'll put links to this stuff in the description in case you want to check it out. All right, here's the uh, the ones I got for the back. You can see they're a little bit different. They're um, call it a flat. They're just these are six inch. I think the ones up there were they said they were four inch. All they don't look quite look like four inch. And I wanted to see what the difference was between these flat style and those uh, pod style. So I'm gonna try these on the back. Here's the old lights that come off. These are just the typical halogen uh, factory lights. I mean they've held up. Uh, like I said, I got one that's not working now, so. I figured I'd go ahead and change them all out. If I was going to put one LED on, might as well put all the LEDs on. So, And who doesn't like LEDs? lights so uh, it's pretty simple usually they come with a washer a uh, lock nut and then the nut itself or a lock washer and then the nut and the, uh, the lot itself has a kind of a recessed area in here to hold the bolt head so that you can tighten it up so go with your washer first your lock washer and then your nut you always want your lock washer against your nut and that's what will uh, keep your nut from backing off all right, we got work lights. So I'm gonna be curious to see what these look like when it's uh, when it's dark. But see me uh, doing that heat shrink with this little handheld torch lighter. That's not my first option, but it works. Uh, one thing about a flame like that is it tends to uh, kind of burn the insulation a little bit if you're not careful. Just need to move it around a lot, keep it moving and don't hold it in one spot too long and also watch uh, where your fingers are because the other thing about that flame is I mean it's shooting out there you know a couple inches two three inches so it'll burn your fingers pretty quick all right and the other thing I've got uh, so I've got a light bar to uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to put it up on top of this grill guard right here this top rail or if I'm gonna mount it under here somewhere. Uh, I don't know, I'm still kind of thinking on that. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna get that done this evening. Uh, then I may have to wait till another day, but that one, uh, I don't have a switch for that one. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I've got a harness for it. I'll have to wire it, wire it in and actually run the harness uh, back to my console somewhere and figure out 
where I'm going to mount my switch. Uh, I don't think the harness is long enough for me to go up uh, into the top of my my cab, my roof panel there, which would be ideal, uh, and I could I could put it beside those other switches. But like I said I don't think my harness is long enough, uh, but I can add on to it if I need to. So still thinking still thinking on how I want to do that. Uh, but uh so yeah those are done uh light bars next no other lights are on i don't have the front headlights on just the work lights in the front and the work lights in the back get down here away from it a little ways I had to get away from the yard lot. Man, that is nice. It's gonna be uh, pretty handy putting out hay this winter. Cause uh, during the week, if I have to do it, it's almost inev inevitably done uh, in the dark, right at dark, and then you know you're on the way back home in the dark. So I'm impressed by these back lights here. I mean, both of them are bright. But these rear lights, uh, they just throw a lot of light. Spread out really good. And uh, let me get up in the tractor and I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, besides all of the uh, dust on the back window, I mean, I can see everything really good from in here. Like I said, that's without any headlights on. Turn the headlights on. It's even that much better. And I think once I get this that uh light bar up here in front, that's gonna be uh, icing on the cake. So yeah, LED uh, lighting upgrade for the tractor. I'm liking it.